Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen of vegan iniquity. This is a roasted acorn squash uh, with rice stuffed in the center. Uh, when my mom cooked acorn squash, she cut them in half lengthwise, but I like cutting them in half crosswise because then they look like a flower. I like the pattern better. Also, when my mom cooked them, she just filled the center, you know, she cleaned the, the seeds and the strings out of the center and filled the centers with uh, butter so that, um, you know, you got a great big pool of melted butter to eat your squash with. Um, I didn't want to do that, although there is butter in the rice. There's not as much butter as there would have been if I'd filled the entire hole in the center with butter. I cut it in half and baked it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 35 minutes. You know, if your oven varies, you're going to want to test it after half an hour. You want it to be soft when you poke it with a fork, but you don't want it to collapse. Then I took it out, and um, well, in the meantime, I sauteed some, I chopped some mushrooms and onions and sauteed them in a pan with some butter, some black pepper, plenty of black pepper, just a little bit of salt some sage, and the um, cooked rice. And that doesn't take long if you cook the rice ahead of time. It doesn't take long at all to come together. So when the squash comes out, oh, and I always turn it over. Whenever I bake a squash, I, I cut it in half. Turn it over so that the cut sides are down on the pan, which I line with parchment paper to keep the pan from getting messy if juices leak out and caramelize. That way you, of course, there's butter in the rice, but you don't have to oil the surfaces if you turn them upside down. They won't dry out. So if you want to do this fat-free, you certainly can. Just don't put any butter in the rice. Uh, and then I scoop the rice into the center, and it is now ready to eat. I think, I did I say there's sage in there too? Black pepper, salt, sage, yeah, onions, mushrooms. Mmm. Mmm. This is so autumn-y. Mmm. I already tasted the rice before I put it in the squash. But I didn't get a chance to get some squash in with the rice. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Oh, wow. It's really good. I got a bigger chunk of squash that time. This is a really um, nice uh, edible bowl for your rice. Very good. I'll have the recipe on my blog. I will link to it in the description. I will link to the previous video, video in my description. Regular uploads, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. I link to my videos in the description to make it easy if you've missed something and you're curious. Regular community tab posts, Monday and Friday. I also link to my community tab in the description. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. And leave a comment if you'd like. If you're old and you don't comment, please feel free to leave a comment. By that I mean to say if you're an old subscriber but you're very quiet, you're certainly welcome to post. I'm going to have one more bite for the road. I think I've said everything I need to say about this. Including how yummy it is. See you later, guys.